18 more recently. The DDs by 29 and went by down by two, so anything could happen here. It's right now at 23 points as we start the last quarter. The right to play Hawthorne probably next Friday night. Ray gets it underway. Gorn, beautiful little tap out the back to the running Viney, who almost ran onto that par. Fit in there was strong, and Viney collected oh, Selwood. Your free kick. High contact. High contact. Hold there. Play on. Ray saw it. Viney makes up. Selwood slips, and this is going to be on right now. Jack Viney never wanted to give up on things. Tackle was reasonable. He's had 10 tackles now, Come Jack Viney. Absolutely incredible it has been. Duck as Viney goes long and deep, coming from a long, long way back was Tom McDonald. Petrarca able to get rid of one. Wriggling loose. Gives it on to the old campaigner, Jones. Gets the first of the last to extend it to 29 points. Have a listen to the Melbourne fans. And what better bloke to kick it, BT, to get him going? Nathan Jones, heart and soul of this club. For a long, long time, through some of the darkest days. Brilliant. Both captains involved. Oh, he is the, the lifeblood, isn't he? He's the connection with the last final they played. 250 games plus since he played in the final. They love him. And he might have got them through to the second week. Selwood off a step. Yeah. Nothing could go wrong for Geelong from this point on. Everything they do has got to turn into something. Fritz gets away. Did well. Viney's been terrific. So's Harms. They get it back to Hibbert. Hibbert with that bounce off halfback. Two, he's played pretty well. Vandenberg with him. Oh, crashing in Oliver. With no fear at all. Gets it back from Harms. Gets it to Viney on the up. Little slop into Harms. He dropped it down to his handle. Okay. Dangerfield sweeps it out. Selwood sweeps it out. Parford to Kelly. Kelly touch, did well. One, Ball three, touch. touch. Bouncing, one, bouncing touch. footy. Frost caught. Does well. He's quick. Fritz under pressure. Kelly gets him high. Gets him high. And it's a free kick for the D's. The heat was on right there and then, though. Did you see Oliver come through? With speed, he was willing to take anyone in the way. And... Massive hit it was, BT. You heard it from a mile away, and only a Selwood would get up from that. Scott yep. Selwood straight to his feet. It was unbelievable. Fritz now down the line. High footy. Taylor, quick hands. Parfit outside. Kolejasny. He's got Me. Kelly short. He stretches marks yeah, now. Guys, Maybe out. just outside his Good range track. here, Kelly. Hawkins in a one-on-one -on -one opportunity in the pocket. Kelly's wondering whether he's going to lead. He does. Not positively. Gorn swats it down. Selwood got rid of one. Buse had a snapper. Oliver able to smother. Give it off to Jones. Jones back to Hibbert. Hibbert thought about going south. Goes north. Just got rid of the ball. Viney and Bracer have got to do it with the big boys. Up comes Taylor and a beautiful defensive spoil to the front. Well, they need to find one here, the Cats. They've locked it in for a little period of time. They cannot let Melbourne just rebound it and get it down the other end of the ground. For their own belief, they have to find a goal from this entry. Gorn in the front. Kelly, left foot gets to a good spot. Hibbert, Hibbert. Menzel was lurking, and that's a good result for the Ds. Tom Stewart back out of the rooms, guys, in good news for the Cats, on his feet, ready to come back on. I know we're in the same scoring situation as we were at Geelong earlier this year, but this feels like a different game, doesn't it? Oh, no Absolutely. Doubt. No doubt. Melbourne have had so many opportunities. Oh, great kick. Geelong have just been let off the hook. Jordy Lewis. Lingy was referring to there with the kick. Harms now. Fritsch. Short ball. Careful use. Vandenberg. Sloppy one. Jetta had to come at the defender. Here's Selwood. Did well. Got it to Ablett. Ablett, neat little kick to Tom Hawkins. Hawkins wants to go. Harms on the mark. Beautiful kick by Tom. Got it inside there to Scott Selwood. Won't get the journey from there. This man will if he can straighten. Tui does that. Right foot bending, bending, bending. Tui's got the goal. Just the one you ordered.
Tui gets them back within 22 points. And the one thing the Dees did, did, did do down at the Cattery League, they started to play safe in that last quarter. They didn't take the game on, and the Cats were able to get back in just by just by being brave and just taking the game on. And just that ball movement by Melbourne, just a little bit too slow, BT. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's too safe at the moment, isn't it? Just finally a little bit of composure by the Cats. Ablett to Hawkins. Hawkins to Selwood. And then off to Zach Tui and finish the work for a tiny glimmer of hope for the Cats. Gordon wins the tap. Viney couldn't quite. Dangerfield tries to beat Harms for it. A great contest. Parfit getting involved. Not everything happening would for him. Vandenberg, he is a bull. O'Connor to Dangerfield. Under pressure as he's been for a lot of the night. Kelly did a good job. Menzel's big fly. Doesn't quite. Ablett searching for it. Ball goes back into a contest. Geelong get a stoppage. Well, uh, Ablett was disappointing Rucks, in the first please. half. He's had a good second Rats. half. He's, Geelong, as the game slowed a little, he's got more he's involved, back. hasn't he? Just starting to find it a little bit on the outside. A bit of that run and link up that they need. Finding Neil Bullen. Menegola. Ball up. Thanks, Sam. Hey, hey. Max. Time not an issue Max. for the Cats. They can gobble up these 22 very very quickly it's 10 minutes of powerful football from their guns as they've shown Max, in Jack. previous games this Jack. year 30 minutes in one game they got back in and won the game 11 minutes in another Jeez. game they got back into it and won it the Cats gone beautiful to Oliver good tackle par fit Guthrie little soccer Dangerfield looking for the forward motion in the back didn't get it Jetta was careful as, as the players get tired though BT Max Gorn's dominance in the ruck will have a huge influence he can just keep putting it to his on ballers advantage just easily getting his hand on the footy at the moment again there right on cue Neil Bullen read it well gets the ball wide this is where they've been so dangerous it looks so good going forward Wiedemann had a magnificent opening to this final. That's a slow kick. Oh, Melsham was so good. Mark. He protected the Stay ball. Back. Hold, Zach. He's a Hold courageous back. player, isn't he? He's a competitive beast. Kicks the ball Thanks. forward. 50, where's Gorn? Nearly. No mark taken. Wow. Henry almost. McDonald taken down in the tackle by Menengola. Ball squeezes. Ablett at the back. Gets the ball out wide. That's a beautiful kick. Can't go quick here, though, Menzel. Hibbert set up behind the ball and Vandenberg. Great structure by the Dees. Hasn't hit the scoreboard tonight, Menzel. Had a wonderful opportunity in that third quarter. Hawkins took a couple out. Geelong. He's been good, Hawkins. So Geelong have won the final term in the last eight matches they've played. 14 of the last 16. There's been no better final quarter team than Geelong this year. They need a big one tonight. Selwood, great mark, great kick. They've lost their oh, willingness God. to attack here the demons momentarily oh. what a mark that was wow. from Selwood across the ground here to try and open them up Tui, oh. little handball to Stewart there he is back out on the ground now puts that into the spot Jetta oh. against Neville. Dangerfield and Neville, Neville Jetta yeah. so, Neville, back line wasn't a great kick again inside 50 for the Cats, just not to the advantage of Dangerfield. They were trying to kick it to the space, but Dangerfield hadn't moved. They have gone into slow play just about every time they've had it, Melbourne. Reads the game so well, Jetta. Yep. Fritsch looking oh, to get one in the, the middle. Yeah. That's better. That's brave. Spargo turns, looks and goes. That's better. Melks him on the half hop. Geelong players surround him. Here they go. Tui got hold of the footy. They can keep going here. It comes on to Henry. Henry with a long ball. Forward bound. Dangerfield. Oh, Frost did a brilliant job defending. Gorn got in the slot as well. Here's Hawkins. Tackled by Salem. Frost there as well. They fight to lock it in the Cats. They do did well, well defended by the Demons. Play well Hawkins, I reckon. Yeah. 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 He has he's competed nice. well. Yeah, he's, he has competed well. Gorn, so good in that situation. And then Brayshaw's handball, another stoppage. So can Geelong get some Same scoreboard again, pressure by getting Tom. the next goal? Max. It gets down to that, really, doesn't it? Yep. They're pushing, we know that. And Melbourne are slightly nervous. Yeah, I agree. 
14 hit outs to advantage for Max Gorn, but you're right, the Cats just need to sow a little bit of doubt in the minds of the Ds. Duncan Guthrie gone. Well, got a little kick away. Jeter gets a high tackle against Dangerfield. And Jeter again gets a free kick against... He's won a lot of 50-50 a lot of balls tonight, Jeter. He's given away half a dozen free kicks tonight, Paddy. Neville's been good. Down the line here, Jetta. Gorn in the right spot. Brayshaw there, the tackler. Murdoch, the meat and the sandwich. So, getting down to nitty gritty time. 13 minutes just under left in the game here. Vandenberg says, get out of the way, I'm coming through. Kicks it. Petrarca's got to make a contest. He does. Melksham tries to knock it on. Tom oh. McDonald head over the footy. There'll be no free in there. Somehow Blitzarves ripped it out of there. Don't know how he got it. Brayshaw through traffic. Great thinking from him on the McDonald. Had to get rid of it. Didn't have time for the kick. Petrarca oh. now with a long one-on-one -on -one ball. It's deep to Hannon. Harry Taylor's got to hold him. Hannon trying to get out the back door. Tom McDonald arrives. Harry Taylor, great job. He waited for the troops and eventually they arrived. It comes to Murdoch. Tyson stuck his head over the ball and won a ripper. Here's Petrarca into the goal square. And the mark is not paid to O'Connor. It's play on. And play on he does at the final attempt as he keep the ball in. Good mark by Guthrie. Great mark against quality opposition in Oliver. And then Guthrie comes inside. That's a good kick. Quickly on. Duncan has coughed the ball up so often tonight. He's had a terrible, terrible night. Oh, I know the stats say he's had a lot of the ball. He slipped. He slipped there. He did get hit high, but that might deem that it was because of the slip. He's had moments like this too, Bruce, where he's fumbled, coughed the ball up, turned it over. Unfortunately, not a good night. So Gorn's kick is a good one. Comes out here to Vandenberg, pumps it to the top of the square. Tom McDonald, Stewart flew bravely. There's Henderson, kept the arms free, luckily for him. Harry Taylor was hurried, but got it in the direction of Stewart. It falls to Ablett. Just relieves a little bit of pressure here for the Cats. Ablett down the line. Hawkins in the one-on-one -on -one here with Frost. Frost did really well. Gorn arrives as well. And... Ron Barassi, the great, enjoying this game. For so much part of their golden era with Norm Smith. And still now with that yeah. fierce, determined yeah. look on his face. And the young man out there in his jumper, Ablett squeezing the ball forward. Well played, Lewis. He's been very, very good. Tyson, Kelly, Lewis again, playing the percentages, gone. Selwood getting down and dirty. Guthrie trying to get it off the ground. Lewis again. Gets it wide. Vandenberg's been excellent. Down that line again. Petrarca. Good contest. Taylor's got better as the game's gone on. Brayshaw's been a star. Keeps the ball in. This is a really important play. Geelong won it and won it well. O'Connor bounces it back. Ablett having a big second half, I reckon. <laughs> Selwood looking for the one over the top. Oh, he's Once again, he's too close to the man on the mark. Didn't get back far enough, Gaz. Got out of trouble here, though, with a handball to Duncan. Duncan needs to launch it wide to the lead of Hawkins. Out of bounds on the full. Out of bounds on the full. Well, if you look at Ablett, who's going at 46% with his yeah. kicking, and Dangerfield's the other one, who's at 45. So, And I haven't seen Mitch Duncan have as bad a night yeah. as for a long, long time. He's a beautiful kick of the footy. Ten minutes remaining. Salem slides it down the line. Tom McDonald in the air. Off the back of the pack. Melksham did well to extend it another 35 minutes. Hits the deck. Henderson. Hannon can go all the way. One bounce. 50, 40, 30, 20, 15. Closing. Goal. Hannon's got it for the Demons. They lead by 28. CG is just at boiling point. They're bubbling with excitement here, the Demon fans. A 
Well, that's some of the composure that they haven't had during the game, especially when they've gone at goal. That's a good finish, and that's the nail. Yep. Wasn't quite the buddy run, but it was a big one, wasn't yeah. it? And you'd feel it's the moment of the match, isn't it? They had a lot in the opening term to set the lead up, but that... That one absolutely breaks the heart now of the Geelong players, so... Let's see how they fight it out. Abbott wins the tap. Selwood broke the Viney tackle, but he doesn't get out of the second tackle. And then Neil Bullen gets involved. And Geelong... It's probably harsh right now to think about this, but their record in finals in recent years is one they're not pleased with. That's no, one that's got to be spoken about, Bruce. Three and nine, this will make it since 2011, that grand final. Dangerfield wide. Murdoch's a left footer. He takes Salem on and gets to a good spot. Not a good kick, though. He undercooked it, undercooked it. He could take a left, right and centre. Kelly in the pocket. Hits the post. Hits the post. It's uh, not happening. Three posters for the Cats tonight. So, with nine minutes to play, when are you looking, do you think, Wayne, to tie things up if you're the Demons a little, perhaps run three or four minutes off the clock now? Yeah, I think when, you, when you're playing the way they are, and they, they have had control of the footage. It's just been poor kicking the reason why it's the, the, the margin that it is. I think, I think you just keep playing the game. They have the ability now. Geelong are going to take some risks. They have the ability now to kick another four or five goals. And don't be afraid to have stoppages too. When Max Gorn is just putting on a show and controlling them. So, so they're the beneficiary. Men and goal are out wide. Sorry, Duck, you are going to say something else. Yeah, so to answer your question, I, I wouldn't be trying to close the game down or, or even slow it down right now. Right. You know, you've got two or three minutes on the clock, but right now, just continue to take the game on. That's what's broken the Cats tonight. Just the, the brand of footy that they've bought tonight, the hardness that they've bought. You're going to beat Richmond later in the month. You've got to keep going all the way to the line, don't you? You sure do. Lewis. Handball, you. Been impressive. Viney. Menangola. Bundles Jones out of the way. Here's Oliver. Hanging on. Dangerfield came late. Was that Harms? I think it was. Bundled it out to Neil Bullen. Little low ball here. Wiedemann in front. He's had a good game. Wiedemann as well. Plenty of touches. Spills to Duncan. Got there first, Jones. One of the three. Got nothing. Pulled the ball out of the pack. Got it to Wiedemann. Here go the Demons again. Thread of the needle. Hannon just loves to run with the footy. This time, he's stopped by Collagesny. Goes long. Brayshaw makes Blitzars fight for it. It spills to Melksham. Didn't do well to get it out of bound here, Blitzars. Leg speed. So, just have a look at the Jones. Was it below the knees a moment ago? <laughs> you see them paid some weeks, don't yeah. you? But I'm glad that wasn't paid. Leg speed. We saw it last night. We're seeing it tonight. There's yep. a difference in there. Yeah, they, they've looked quicker all night. Abbott down to Duncan. Wiedemann. Spargo. Harms. Could he kick a second? No. Nope. So it's looking very much yep. like Hawthorne will be playing Melbourne next Friday night in the semi-final. Jordan Lewis against his old mob, hey? Yep. Kick back into play. Duncan elevates magnificently. Two teams, yep. BT, that were going to merge not yep. that long ago. No. Henderson. Collar Jasny. Vandenberg got him. Ball bubbled out. Now Henderson's been attacked from every direction. And this has been the highlight of Melbourne tonight. Oh, it's been a brilliant part of the game. How many times do you reckon we'll see a replay of Gary Buccanara's kick in the 87 prelim, Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> often, often, Lingy. I wonder about the snow skis. Is it finished up there? I mean, those Melbourne fans are normally head for the snow, eh? About not all those jokes we've made about them over the years. Well, it's working out for them, Bruce. <laughs> the snow is still plentiful up there, so it might even be there after September. Still a chance for them. Boundary throw in. Gorn. Duncan kept it rolling. Harms. Danger field. Good tackle. Harms won't let it out of there. Ball up. Well, we've had two fairy tales, haven't we, in the last two Septembers? Dogs, tigers. It's a long way to go, I know, but 
could be the start of something here. Could be. They play a brand of footy that's going to stand up in finals. Kelly cut off a bit. Oliver's been magnificent, oh, I reckon. Melbourne. He is... He's been in to pick up the ball. He's been in to pick up the ball. Well, I reckon he's the most dynamic of the young players in the comp. To Lewis, and then Lewis's kick. That oh, one you. not quite getting to the target. Hannon, who kicked the big goal a moment ago. Henry's had a fine oh, opening yeah. season for him. That one close to the line. Well done, Tyson. A remarkable comeback for him. And then chips the ball to full forward. Uh, Connor on the up to Henry, the two youngsters. And then Henry belts it out. Down the line, Lewis belting it away. Only as far as McDonald. McDonald inboard to Tyson. Normally constructive. Gives it all he's got. Wiedemann. Oh, yes. Starts it. Finishes it. He's kicked three. It's a dream come true. What a night he's had. Well, you talk about players, Bruce, uh, have been given opportunities. If Hogan doesn't go down, Wiedemann doesn't get an opportunity. You look at Frost at the other end. If Lever doesn't go out, Frost probably doesn't get an opportunity. So, so many stories out there tonight. It's a land of opportunity sometimes. Oh, absolutely. If Hogan doesn't go out, Wiedemann's not even in the team. And if Lever doesn't go out, Frost's not in the team. And they've contributed massively tonight. And there's the ex-captain, David Neitz. They're excited. Happy. They're excited. Boy, a couple of weeks ago, they really got going against West Coast in Perth, and they have not taken the foot off the accelerator since. Here's Spargo, goes wide. Hannon thought about it. And this is why you play the game out, PT, because the floodgates have opened. Look at Viney out wide. They think Hannon's a big kick of the footy, so they've said, no, you go for it. He checks where the mark is to make sure the run-up is measured perfectly because he'll need to use every metre he's got. This to shut the door in the face of the Cats. Hannon with a long ball just a metre or two short. I think the door's shut. <laughs> Massively shut. So a double the score base. Well, it is double the score in one. So five goal opening term set it all up. To his miss kick, Vandenberg's been terrific. Holding the man, Geelong. Blitz has free football. kick. Play on. Gives to Ablett. Ablett's kick okay to Kelly. On, and Kelly, that's a good kick inside. On, Scott Sirwood. They haven't done this all night, Geelong. That one going into the back. Of Oscar McDonald and the D's. It's their night. It's their night. Jetta and McDonald, they built it down the line, almost taken by hand, and he's having a lovely little patch here. Stood up in the tackle well. Vandenberg down low. He's such a bull, Vandenberg. Holds it up, holds it up. See, they play a brand of footy that is a uh, free kick here to the Cats, but they play a brand of footy that has stood up tonight and it's going to stand up in future finals. Hard and ruthless, highly skilled as well. They can win the flag. Yep. No doubt. Selwood. Men and goal up. Round the corner and wide. Here comes Hawkins. Good help out from Brayshaw. He landed awkwardly. The run of Murdoch into the open goal. No problems at all. Back to 29 points. Three goals to two in this quarter. They've got the midfield, they've got the defensive structure, they've got the forward weapons, and they've got a man named Max Gorn, who is just going to be an absolute headache for Hawthorne next week, and if they advance further, for any team they play. Anthony Danaher with brother Neil. Yeah. Back this way. He'll be thrilled tonight. He took this team... To some high places, didn't he, Neil Danaher? He'll be absolutely thrilled with what they've done tonight and what might happen in the next three weeks. Dangerfield's tackle on Viney. And you've got to say, Viney's comeback has been such a success, hasn't it? Oh, he's, he's been 
absolutely brilliant tonight. He's just been an absolute ball. Jack Viney, 11 tackles. James Harms, 11 tackles. Vandenberg's had seven, I think, Lingy, so... Neil Bullen's had nine, just hard nuts. And with Oliver and Brayshaw, this is a formidable midfield, isn't oh, it? Oh, it, it is. Yeah. All of those key areas in and around the midfield, the hardness, the tackles, the number one tackling team in the comp, so they're just hard. So our blip to Stewart, and Stewart to full forward. Frost trying to belt it away. Guthrie trying to protect the Murdoch Parfit. Duncan, and then Duncan, Duncan, Duncan after the night he's had. And Geelong get it back to 23 points where we were at three-quarter time. And BT's just thinking, he, he's just thinking well, the lock has come <laughs> off the door I'm and just, he's searching for a key, aren't you, BT? I'm just about to ask Duck, <laughs> no, are no, you sure, <laughs> Duck, because you so positively slammed the door on my fingers? I am positive. I am going to ask you again shortly. You can. So how have they done the big three tonight? Oh, Joel Selwood's got all the way hard. Side. Gaz has had a pretty good second half. Paddy Dangerfield, unfortunately, has just wasted the footy as hard as he's worked. But yeah. no, the Melbourne midfield's been all over them. It's 23 points, fellas. No, Brian. Three and a quarter minutes. Dark Harms to Tyson. Melbourne will go forward here. Nice ball. Petrarca just using the one claw there. Probably could have gone the double. Wiedemann with a little bit of handball candy and sprays it. Three goals today to Sam Wiedemann. He would be delighted and he's played three ultra impressive games. It's been terrific. He's, uh, as Wayne said a moment ago, opportunity for he and Frost down back, unfortunately for Lever and also for Hogan. Good mark by the, the Giant. He set the scene in the opening term, didn't he? He made a contest in the back half. He went forward and took a mark and kicked the goal. goal. And as Brian said, he's a big chance to win the Brownlow medal. And wouldn't that be something if he did? I mean, he's probably the second favourite to Tom Mitchell. His influence on the and game and tonight and on game, in games in general is just absolute. Everything he does is quality, Maxi Gaunt. Abler got it from Sirwood. Parfit and Lewis. And then Harms. And that... Tough nut harms and then danger filled with him. And Lewis's handball over the top. Tyson kicking the ball back into the forward 50. Bouncing ball. And Connor's handball just missed the target and Sherwood cops. Oliver High. Not much he could do about that, Joel. Said how dynamic a young player he is. Oh. The game's in pretty good hands, isn't it? When you think we're going to have Josh Kelly and Isaac Heaney running around tomorrow at the SCG. Paddy Cripps for the Blues down the bottom of the ladder. We've got some great young talent in this comp. Ball forward again here, Stuart. Good mark. And just a reminder, this is the first time in the history of our game on consecutive nights we've had 90,000 plus crowds as Neil Bourne intercepts with the mark. And think about next Friday night, BT. I mean, Hawthorne versus Melbourne here next Friday night. 91-767 tonight, Bruce, and that'll bring another big crowd next week. So that's about 300 more than last night. Yep. He's a handy player, this bloke, isn't he? He is. He's important with his... Had a very good year. His run, too. He averages the most Ks in the game for the Ds. For his 26th goal of the year, no problems. Melbourne fans, as he points to the jumper, can rise confidently out of your seat and celebrate now. Well, momentum in September is a beautiful thing. And, Duck, you talked about this pre -med. Their last block of six or eight weeks has been really impressive, hasn't it? This has been a... They've had the perfect run into September in a way. Absolutely, they have. And it's, it was a perfect build-up, really. They had to fight hard to make the finals. They yep, had to they go the hard one. <laughs> and let's have a look how gone he's gone on the Telstra heat map. And a lot of his work has been down back tonight. He pushes back into that hole. BT spoke about it before the game. He's been a solid contributor. Kicked the goal as well. 
Well, 1964 is a long time ago. I know we're working a long way in advance, and there's a team called Richmond and a few others waiting, but this team's going to have a crack, you'd reckon. A five-goal opening term blew the game apart, and then they were able to withstand a spirited Geelong challenge. Well, they're just playing such selfless footy, Bruce, and it only clicked a month ago. You just mentioned it before. that They're just playing brilliantly as a team here at the moment. The margin absolutely flatters Geelong. Yep, yep. It's been a 10-goal game in the yeah. end, hasn't it? Cats get it forward a little. Tyson's got better as the game's gone on. And that what? one wrapped up. So the Dees and the Hawks next Friday night. And Geelong exit again. They've had some disappointing final series since they won the flag in 2011. In Scotty's first year when Lingy was the captain. And here is the captain, the spirit of Melbourne, who kicked... An important goal in this last term, over the back. And in the dying seconds, Melbourne fans have waited such a long time. The drought from a finals appearance, 12 years, 1964, since the flag. We've seen the Dogs and the Tigers in recent years, the last couple of years. And now Melbourne might be the fairy tale story of September. It's been their night. Melbourne have beaten Geelong in the elimination final on their way to the semi.